guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a what's in my bag video for you. This was a requested video and I'm also going to do a preliminary review and it is on my Louis Vuitton Artsy in the MM size. So I don't know why they still have the size on there because this bag is only offered in one size now. It's only offered in MM. It used to come in two sizes. I think it was offered in the MM and the GM and now it is only in the MM size. So this is the new model. I don't know if you are familiar with the Artsy bag, but previously the Artsy, it looked just like this. They really have changed nothing about the bag except they added leather trim to the top here. And initially, I was not a huge fan of that. I hated it, to be quite honest. I wanted the Artsy before they added this, and I wasn't able to get it. And so, when they came out with the new one, they had pulled them off the shelves for a while, pulled them off the website, you couldn't buy them anywhere. And when they relaunched the Artsy, it had this trim. And I was so pissed off because I really wanted the Artsy so bad, but I did not want this trim on it, and I hated it. So, after I saw it for a little while, you know how things kind of grow on us. So, after I saw it for a while, and I did see someone come in that had bought the new model, and hers was in monogram, and it had developed a patina, and it looked really pretty. So, after I saw that, I wasn't as opposed to it, but I still was kind of on the fence. So when I saw the Damier Azor, I just thought that the leather trim at the top was a very nice touch with this canvas. Um, I like it better with the Damier Azor than I like it with the monogram because I feel like with the monogram it just looks very busy and with the Damier Azor I just feel like it complements the canvas of the bag. So if you watched my haul, then you'll know that I was very reluctant to purchase this bag because I had some, I had three bags that I had returned. I had two Neverfulls and a Speedy, and I returned them because the Vachetta was not patinaing evenly. It wasn't developing an even patina. Uh, the pieces were, some pieces were dark, some pieces stayed light, and the reason for that is because some of the pieces were treated leather and other pieces they did not treat. So I was very concerned when I first decided to go with this bag because I didn't want to run into the same problem. I didn't want to fall in love with this bag and then end up having to return it like I did my other bags. So, and I did see a video on YouTube where, I've seen one video, where the, the girl who has this bag, and hers is monogram, her handle is developing a patina but the trim is much lighter and they tried to tell her that it's normal wear and tear but it's not. So I was very nervous but after using this bag for a week I can say that I'm pretty sure that all of my pieces of leather, which there's three pieces, uh, two pieces that make up the trim and then the handle, all of them are untreated leather. And I will tell you at the end of this video how you can tell if your leather is untreated or if it has been treated. So, and I can assure you, you don't want Vachetta that has been treated because it does not develop an even patina and it also gets very spotty. So, and I will try to insert pictures at the end of this video to show you what my other bags look like so you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about but these are not treated as far as I know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it because I have a lot of stuff in this bag. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. I have a ton of stuff in here, as you can see, a lot, a lot of stuff in here. So I'm just gonna keep the bag right here in my lap and I'm just going to pull things out just straight from the bag. So the first thing I have in here is my planner. Uh, this is just a monthly planner that I picked up from, I think I got this at TJ Maxx, but it just has the months in it, and it just looks like that. Nothing special, it's very plain, and I decided I was going to use this just for appointments, so that I don't double book something or make plans with someone else when I already had plans, 
and uh, that's something that I just recently did and kind of got myself in trouble with so I thought I better pick something up so I picked up this little planner and I've been carrying it with me because I was at work I'm not at work today the next thing I have in my bag is my pochette that comes with my Neverfull GM. And in here, I just keep, I have, that's the inside. I have a little coin purse. And in this coin purse, I don't keep regular coins. I only keep the coins that my dad gave to me. He gave me some Canadian money and um, it's a little stone that my son picked up for me. So, yeah. And then I have some cards, my fingernail file, and then these are receipts and a pack of gum. And that's all that, did you see that go flying? Sorry. Okay, that's all that is in this little pochette. The next thing in my bag is this hair scrunchie. Okay, am I the only one who's excited that the big, huge, enormous hair scrunchies are back in style? I don't know, some of you may not even be old enough to remember when the big ones were in style before, but yes, I love these so much. And this one's like silk, or it feels like silk. So I just have it inside my bag, and I had a little hair clip attached to it because sometimes I just like to pull my hair back. Or if it's raining and it's very windy, I'll pull my hair back so that it doesn't get wet. And the next thing I have in here is my pen case. This is from the brand Poppin, and it's just a very bright metallic gold case with a pop of coral on the top. And in here I have a ton of pens. My favorite pens at the moment are the Micron Pigma pens and the Jelly Rolls pens. And I have them in all different colors, as you can see. So, that's what's inside here and I usually use these to write in my planner because I just like to write things um, in color and just sort of color coordinate stuff so if it's in a certain color I know it's pertaining to my son if it's just in plain black it's usually for me the next thing in my bag is my Kate Spade wallet I love this wallet so much so I was using my Kaisa wallet but I just I'm trying to make myself love that wallet because I paid so much for it. But I really am just not a huge fan of it because, uh, I don't know, it just, to me, it doesn't have enough organization. And this wallet is amazing. This wallet is shaped, um, not shaped, designed a lot like the Zippy wallet. And it has a back compartment. And then it has a lot of compartments in here as well. So room for cards on this side and this side. It has dividers. It has a section over here. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's some Honduran money that my dad gave me. It's a uh, 50 Lemperis. And then I keep my cash on this side, American money. And then a zipper compartment here for change. So I just went back to using my Kate Spade wallet because I really love this wallet a lot and it's very functional and I just don't really like my Kaisa wallet and I'm really thinking about selling it and using the money to put towards purchasing something else because I, I really just, I'm not a big fan of it. Plus it's developing this weird smell, like I, I can't describe it but it's not a good smell. And the next thing in my purse is my Toiletry 15. I use this as my electronics pouch. So in here I have my AirPods. I got this case from Amazon and I love it. I have the little, uh, what are these, silicone attachments for the earbuds, for the actual AirPods themselves so you don't drop one out of your ear and lose it. I have the little cube that goes to your power cord. I have an actual power cord for my, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. 
And then I have a little stand in case I want to prop my phone up and watch a show while I'm at lunch. I have a stylus. I have a little, what is this, like a little USB, external USB drive. I have an adapter because my son has a an Android. So I keep this in there for him in case he needs to use one of my chargers. And then that's just the little uh, stickers that came with this toiletry pouch. I wanted the 15. They actually had the 15 and the 19 available when I purchased mine, but I wanted the 15 because it was just more compact and I was trying to find something smaller than my cosmetic pouch that's in the PM size. So that's why I wanted the 15, but I actually wouldn't mind getting I think the 26 and then I would just be able to consolidate a lot of stuff and maybe not use so many pouches so when I purchased this which has been a few months ago and um, this one is a made in Spain piece I don't know if you can see that or not but it says made in Spain let me see damn zebra all the way and when I purchased mine this one was 355 US dollars so they're kind of pricey for what they are I mean it's just a little small canvas pouch the only part on it that's leather is this little tab and when I first purchased it the tab stuck straight out it was super annoying but as you use it it does soften up so you don't have to worry about it staying like that but when I first got it the little end stuck out like this and it but now it lays down so if you buy one and you're having an issue with that don't worry it will eventually relax and lay down it's just um, yeah see mine lays down really easily now but before it was like this okay I'm sorry if my voice is really hoarse I'm having such a tough time with my allergies right now because of all of the bad weather that we're getting and all the weather like the hurricanes and the tropical depressions that are out in the Gulf Coast and I'm not too far from the Gulf so that weather really impacts us badly well me at least um, and then the next thing I have in my bag is my cosmetic pouch this is the small size I think now they call them small medium large and when I purchased mine it's still it was still PM MM and GM so this one is the PM size and it just has leather on two sides right here and I love this cosmetic pouch though I really thought that when I bought this it was going to replace this but it hasn't happened now I just carry an extra pouch so in here I have quite a bit of stuff as you can see I have a dude wipe if you don't know what that is those are for they're just like for when you go to the bathroom or if you're, you know, on, if it's your time of the month, they're just a little freshening wipe. And then I have some allergy drops, the NAFCON A. I only use these if my eyes are like burning or itching. And I know that they're, you know, it's from allergies because they don't do a really great job at getting rid of redness because they're primarily for allergies. So they'll get rid of the redness for a while, but then the redness comes right back. And then I have a little L'Occitane lotion, and this is in the Cherry Blossom. I don't really use it very much. I always forget I have it. And then I have the Dalton Lip Liner. This is actually a clear lip liner, and it is, um, it's the clear lip liner. And you put it on, and it keeps your lipstick from feathering. And then I have a little Native deodorant so tiny look how little this is and this is the charcoal it smells so good it actually smells a little bit fruity and then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss this is in the color Kristen it's one of my favorite colors I have my little uh, lipstick brush that I got from Amazon and you just pull it and it comes out I think I paid maybe I know it was no more than $10, but my mom used to always carry a lipstick brush and she had given me one and I can't find it. And so that's when I decided to go online 
and just pick one up from Amazon. And this one got really high reviews. If you're interested in any of this stuff, just comment down below and I will send you links to the things that I'm showing you. And then this is the Benefit What's Up. It's a highlighter. And I just keep it in here in case my highlight comes off, which typically now it does because since we wear masks every day, usually by the time I get home, I have no makeup from here down and I look ridiculous. I have a MAC Cosmetics lipstick in the color, this one is in the color, what is it? Cream in my coffee. It's like a brown color, a brownish pink. And then I have another MAC lipstick, and this one is in the color, oh, so sad. This is in my favorite shade, Shanghai Spice. They have discontinued this. And oh, I only use this every so often because I'm just, oh, I'm really trying to hold on to it as long as I can because it's my favorite shade. I used to wear this every single day, every day. I only had a handful of lipsticks because this is the only one I ever wore. And now, since they discontinued that one, I have about 200 lipsticks. It's ridiculous. I have a little spoolie that I keep in here. I have a little flesh-colored eyeliner from, this one's from Pixie. And I use this because it's perfect if you have a blemish or something that you need to cover up. I don't use it as an eyeliner. I have a little flower bomb sample perfume. It's super tiny, but it has the little spray atomizer. I like that. And I'm almost out of my regular size bottle of, I have my perfumes up there. My regular size bottle of flower bomb. And so I'm going to have to buy some more because I can't be without this. This is like one of my favorite all time signature fragrances. And then I have my compact. This is, it has a lion on the front with all the signs of the zodiac because I'm a Leo and I love anything that has to do with Leo. And I'm not going to blind you, but it opens up and it has um, double mirrors. So one side is magnified and the other is not. And then it also has a little light so you can see what you're doing. If it's dark, I have a little lighter. I have a black eyeliner. I have a huge bobby pin. I'm sorry, I have the sniffles. My allergies are like insane right now. I'm, I said that already, I'm sorry. I have a little brush for some blush, if, but I don't actually have any blush in here. And then I have a glass nail file that was given to me by a one of the contractors that stopped by our job. And then that's it for the main compartment. And then in this little slip compartment here, I don't even think I have anything in there. That's a lie, I do. I have this little tiny, this goes with, okay, so if you buy the pot of the Laneige uh, lip treatment, it comes with this little silicone wand. And the little wand comes in this little plastic pouch that says Laneige on it, which you probably can't read it. There it goes. And so I just keep it in here and keep it inside my bag. I was carrying the whole thing with me, but it's sort of bulky. So I stopped carrying it, but I still have the little wand in here. And then these are just the little stickers that go with this particular bag or this pouch. This one was made in France. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says made in France. And at the time that I purchased this bag, do I have a price tag in here? I don't have a price tag in here. I'm sorry. I think this was under $400 when I purchased it, and now I think they are over $400. So, yeah, everything has gone up. Everything. Louis Vuitton just continues to raise their prices. I'm just putting everything that I had in this little bag pouch back in here. And now it's all back in there. I'm just going to zip it shut. And look, I had all that in there and there's still plenty of room left to put more stuff. Okay, so that's that. And then the next thing I have in here is my mini pochette. This is probably one of my favorite 
Louis Vuitton SLGs. I love this little bag so much. I feel like it's just like perfect ASMR with the chain up against the canvas. Hear that? Anyway, this one is made in France. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. And this is, I've had this piece, so far the oldest piece I've shown you is this. I've had this since for probably two years. I've had this, so this is two years old and it hasn't really patinaed a whole lot. I've had this one for probably a year and a half. I got this one not too much longer. I have a video on this, so I'm not sure when I got this to be quite honest, but I love it because it has the little gold chain and my little gold chain is still just as shiny and sparkly as it was the day I bought it. And you can remove it from here and attach it down here if you want, but I always just leave it like this. So this is what it looks like inside here. This is kind of like a little medical pouch for me. So I have a toothpick, I have my travel toothbrush, I have some Himalayan salt because I hate it if my food doesn't have flavor. And so sometimes just adding salt is enough. And then I have some Nikola Tesla's, Nikola Tesla's Experiments. These are little mints. I actually bought these at Half Price Books. No, I'm not gonna take one right now. I'm not gonna eat one now. And then I have some uh, medicine for my stomach. This is an allergy relief inhaler. It's made with essential oils. So refreshing. It helps with headaches too. I get migraines really bad, so I really like having these. And I have two more on, on order. Um, a mom, I work at a school, and one of the moms sells these. And so I just talked to her the other day on the phone, and she's supposed to be bringing me two more. So they're like $5 each. They're so worth it. A panty liner. Um, I have a bunch of band aids and some hand sanitizing wipes. Anytime I go to a restaurant and they have hand sanitizing wipes, I grab like 12. That's just what I do. Alcohol swab, never know. Some Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Uh, it's the classic. This is just a little packet in case I want to get uh, some tea and I can sweeten it myself. It's another. So I have three of those little sugar packets in here. I have a little bitty tiny, okay, look how little this is. Like, it's almost the size of my eye. That is a toothpaste. And this was in the bathroom at one of the hotels that we stayed at. Was it a hotel? No, it was, we had rented a condo in Galveston and this was in there and I thought it was so cute. I'm almost out, I just use it for emergencies. And then I have some more stomach medicine. I don't know why I have all this in here. I don't usually have that much of a messed up stomach. More Band-Aids. Um, this is a key that goes to a little lock box that I have. More medicine. Another toothpick. And then my little trusty pocket knife. That is, if you've watched any of my What's My Bag videos, You've seen this in every single one. It's in every single one because it stays in this little bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this back in here. Putting it all in there right now. I need to clean it out because this is ridiculous. I don't need all this crap in here. But watch, as soon as I take something out, I'm gonna need it because that's how it goes. That's, that's why I never take anything out because as soon as I take it out, I need it. I can have not needed it for like six months and I'll take it out and I'll need it that day because what well, that's like Murphy's law. Okay. Now it's all crammed back in there. All that stuff was in there and look, it's, these things are so, if you have not purchased an SLG or if you're even looking for a first piece from Louis Vuitton, everybody says to get the key pouch or the key ring holder. No get this this is so perfect you can use this for so many things you can even use it as like a little bag to go out like if you're just going to the club which my clubbing days are over but if you're going you can take this or 
you know, on date night, you don't want to carry something huge. Yeah, you can use this. It's precious. It does fit on your shoulder. It used to fit on my shoulder. Let me see. I gained some weight. Still fits. Barely. So, yeah, I highly recommend this piece. You can use it as a makeup bag. You can use it as a wallet. You can use it as a catch-all. You can use it as a little tiny clutch for going out. So, yes, highly recommend this piece. Okay, the next thing in here, I have a hair bobble. I have a long, dark strand of hair. Oh, this is from, mm, it's really long. It's from, it's going on the floor. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I cut all my hair off. So I had to, it was unhealthy. Um, I'm a little upset about it, but at the same time, I'm not because I would rather my hair be shorter and healthy than long and unhealthy. So, but it grows fast, it'll grow back. So anyway, so yeah, there was a piece of long black hair in the bottom of my bag. And then I have, this is my latest edition. I haven't done a video on it, but I will. I just picked up the Louis Vuitton PM Agenda, also known as the Pocket Agenda, and I got it in the monogram. So I had ordered it primarily in, primarily, initially in the Damier Azor print, and I bought it to go with this because I thought I might use this as a wallet. But then when they sent it to me, it was a disaster. It was, not only was it filthy, but it was also already two years old. Yeah. <laughs> they sent me a piece that was two years old. It had a date code from 2018. So I'm assuming that it's probably had two owners before it ever got to me. And they sold it to me as brand new. So it also had a sticker inside of it, not this one, the Dame Azor. It also had a sticker inside that had a 2019 date on it from a year ago. So the agenda itself was two years old and then it had a one-year-old sticker in it and then they sent it to me like a year later and sold it to me and it was just filthy like this was all discolored the little snap was all discolored this the glazing on it was gray it was it was a hot mess and I was not a happy girl I let them know all about it and so I drove to the domain in Austin and exchanged it and I decided to go ahead and just go with the monogram and I was so lucky because they don't normally have these in the stores they are pretty hard to get your hands on so um, yeah and I used to have an Indomie at Ben and I had bought all the inserts and then I put it in there and then for whatever crazy reason I decided I didn't want it so I returned it and then I regretted it afterwards so I'm actually going to hold on to this one forever uh, this one is actually made in France I don't know if you can read that or not but it says made in France right there and so I have all of my stuff that I had from my initial agenda and so I had bought this little dashboard from Etsy um, an Etsy shop but it's just the little dashboard and has, my name is Rachel, so it has my name on it. And I guess, you know, it was fitting when I bought it because I had long hair, but it's not long anymore. And then I bought these little pearl pink dividers. So this came with one, two, three, four, five. It comes with six dividers. So that's what they look like, the little dividers. And then I bought these little downloadable printable inserts from Etsy as well. This is from the seller Life Potion and if you are looking for really really reasonably priced printouts for your PM or pocket agenda I highly recommend looking at Life Potions because hers are absolutely perfect. They line up perfectly and so this is what the month looks like. Um, I wrote the month on there, but they're uh, they're not pre-filled, so I mean they're not filled out already. So you can buy them at any time and start at any time. So and then at the end of each month, it has a little section for notes, and then goals and what does that say? Events and to do. So 
So that's at the end of each month. And then there's a weekly section. I don't know what that is. Oh, I also bought the password keepers. So instead of, um, let me show you this little dashboard. I also bought this dashboard. It's so precious. It's just the trunks, the Louis Vuitton trunks. And it's another divider. I bought these paper clips from a shop at Etsy and it came with several. It came with this little camera and um, I'll show you some others. And then this is just something that I uh, actually cut out. And then I bought this little dashboard, which is the Keep All by Louis Vuitton. And then it also had this paper clip that says Plan. And then it has, Life Potion has weekly inserts as well. And her weekly inserts look like this. If you can see that. They're super cute. I highly recommend using her. And I want to say her printouts are, they're so affordable. They're like three or four dollars. They're so cheap, but they're perfect. And then I have these other two clips that came with the um, other clip, and it just says to do. And this is a little pocket that I purchased on Amazon, and it's actually a Filofax pocket, and it's for credit cards. I don't have any cards in here at the moment. I just have my little um, clips on here. But there's two on that side and then two on this side. So there's one here and then there's one here. And then it's another divider. And then I have another little uh, pocket that I purchased. It came with this other one. And it has a little Ziploc top. And I just keep stickers in here and that's a little bow. And then what else? Oh, and then I have another little card that I printed out and then that's a little envelope paper clip that came with the other paper clips and then a little turquoise like Tiffany blue colored divider at the end and then in here I just have what do I have back here in this back pocket oh so the little pink dividers came from a company called paper calling and her website is papercalling.etsy.com and she just sent me a little thank you note thanking me for purchasing and then what else did I buy? I bought something else obviously I don't know what I do with it oh and then I just have some cards in the front compartment here in case I want to use them to cover things up, like personal stuff. But the shops that I use to purchase things from for this planner, I just keep their information back here in this back compartment so I don't ever have to wonder who I bought something from. And okay, so the price of this has gone up. Uh, it, I didn't show you the front. The front has three card slots and a slip pocket here as well. So the price of this has gone up. When I first bought it, it was $365, and it's gone up by $30 to $395 now, so U.S. dollars. If you're in the U.S., that's how much it costs right now. But I really like the pocket size, and um, I'm going to probably just use this to keep track of maybe my bills or something because I don't really like having personal stuff like that in my regular planner because I like to leave my regular planner sitting out on my desk at work sometimes. And I mean, not that anybody's going to look in it, but just in the event that I happen to have it open, you know, I just kind of would like to keep that kind of stuff private. So I'll probably keep my bills and stuff in here. Okay. And so that was that. And then the last thing, now I've been pulling, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you, I've been pulling things from the main pouch, from the main compartment. So, the big center compartment. I haven't even gotten around to the seven pockets that are in this bag. So on my D-ring, which is right here, I had my 
zippered key pouch from Louis Vuitton. I bought this and this at the same time. And my Damier Aben agenda that I returned. Um, and so the only thing I keep in here is just a key fob. This is the only thing I have ever kept in my, in this particular key pouch, in this zippered key pouch. And it has a funky smell, just like the Kaisa wallet does. And I've determined that it's the gold zippers that have a funky smell to them. So also the interior of mine is starting to kind of peel. I don't know if I can, okay, maybe you can see it right there. See how it's a little bit discolored right here along the top, like right here and here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it was kind of starting to peel and it started feeling like gummy on the inside. So I took a wipe and wiped it out and some like the top coating peeled off of it. So I did have them look at it and they said at Louis Vuitton, it's just normal wear and tear for $200 for this little tiny thing. And that's normal wear and tear, but okay. So, and I told them all I ever keep in there is this. I don't even keep regular keys. It's just a fob. So nothing scratches it or anything. Um, my car is a push button car. All of my cars, the last six years have been push button. So I don't even need a car key. I just keep a fob in there. And yeah, so I don't know, but, uh, it's, I mean, the outside is still perfect. It's still holding up. Well, everything is still shiny on it. It still looks great. The zipper looks great. The zipper works great. It was just the interior. And so if that's really the only issue and all I keep use it for is the fob, I'm fine with that, whatever. And the next thing, oh, wait, that's not in there. I need to take this ring off of here. I don't know where I still have it on. I just got a new car a few months back and I didn't, I haven't taken that little metal ring off of it yet. Okay. So that is absolutely it for the interior, large interior portion of this bag. So that's empty. So now I'm going to start with the front side of the bag. So a lot of people consider the side with the zipper to be the back of the bag but I consider it to be the front because I always feel like the back is where the tag is. So the tag is on the other side. So I consider the side with the zipper to be the front. So the artsy is the one Louis Vuitton bag, the only one that has all of the compartmentalization that this has. So it has a total of seven pockets. It has six slip pockets that are substantially sized and one extremely large zippered pocket. No other Louis Vuitton bag can boast that much compartmentalization, which was one of the reasons why I absolutely had to have the artsy bag. I've wanted this bag forever. And when I say forever, I'm not talking about like some of those other YouTubers who are like, oh, I've wanted this bag forever, like three months. No, I've wanted this bag for like six years. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so you can see it's empty. It's kind of caved in right there, but it's such a beautiful bag. I love it so much. It also comes with a key bell or a little key keeper, but I don't use it for keys because I don't want it to get scratched up and look ugly. But the little thing around says Louis Vuitton on it. And it's so pretty. So I just let it hang on the outside like a charm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the pockets. There are three pockets on either side. Can you see them? You can see that one because there's plenty in that one. And so I'm going to start with the far pocket and I have um, my glasses. These are my reading glasses. I have to have them now. I can't, I've gotten to the point where I can barely see without them anymore. I have my little uh, password keeper book. It's just a little moleskin book. I have my other key, zippered key pouch. This is in the Damier Graffite print and it is from the men's line. And in here, I keep my gift cards. 
I have my son's um, immunization record and I have um, our social security cards and stuff in here and my dad's Sam's Club membership card along with like two dollar bills that he gave me and he gave um, my son and yeah just personal stuff in this little envelope and then that's it for that first slip pocket these slip pockets are very large so I don't know if I can show you um, my whole hand fits inside of it so my hand fits in up to my wrist so each one of those pockets are the same size so they all are very substantially sized you can fit so much stuff in them so in the middle slip pocket I don't have anything and that's because that's primarily where I keep my cell phone because I can still have this on my shoulder and reach in and grab my phone that's pretty much the only thing you can grab when this is on your shoulder because that's one of the things I'm going to tell you about and then in the far pocket I have um, oh my tweezers and nothing else and I normally keep my sunglasses in this uh, far pocket over here this one all the way down here on the side so that's all that's in those pockets in the pockets on the other side I have much more in these pockets so let me put these back before I forget where I had everything I'm still trying to learn where I put stuff when I'm using this bag because um, you know when you switch bags and they have a lot of different pockets you're like rambling around for stuff all the time that's me right now okay so onto the slip pockets on the other side so in the far left hand side I have a hand sanitizer this is the baby bum this stuff smells so good it smells like coconut it smells like the beach I have my lumify eye drops I have my inhaler because um, I am asthmatic I have my little pill case and that's all that's in that pocket now mind you I don't have these pockets stuffed to their fullest capacity I could fit so much more in each of these pockets I'll just leave this stuff out so I can show you and then in the center pocket um, this pocket right here I have a McDonald's um, free breakfast card I have my work keys I have a hair clip I can never have too many hair clips in my bag I have my home alarm fob and I have my house keys with my little lottery charm on them and that's all that's in the center pocket and then in the far right pocket over there in the corner see it I have a little brush a little hairbrush I have my Urban Decay lip gloss in the color Liar this is one of my favorite colors this and my Shanghai Spice were my favorites again this has been discontinued this particular lip gloss has been discontinued but the color has not they still offer it in a lipstick a cream lipstick but I feel like the color looks different so anyway they've discontinued this uh, particular type of lip gloss and the new lip gloss they have now I can't stand so all the new improved stuff is not new and improved to me and then I have my buxom lip gloss I love buxom glosses they're so good this one is in the color sandy super pretty and then I have another Mac lipstick and this one I think this is what I'm wearing today yes this is in the color sequin it's kind of a frosted lipstick which I don't normally wear frosts uh, I feel like I don't know I, I don't know I'm not a big frosted person but I do love that one and then I have a lip liner Mac lip liner in the color cork it's one of my favorites I have another hair clip this is a bigger one I have 
a Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer for emergencies. I mean, you never know. You never know when you're going to hear something sad and start crying or when you're just going to look like hell and need some concealer. You never know. Okay, so that's it in those three pockets. Now, you can see how big those pockets are. See how that one is just kind of open right there? And they fit a lot of stuff. So now I'm going to go to the zippered compartment. And here's the zipper. The zipper is very large. You can put a full-size wallet plus other stuff in there. But I don't have that much in here. So in this zippered pocket, I keep mostly um, feminine products. So I have tampons and panty liners. Another tampon. I have dental floss. over here. I have a another nail file. This one is actually in a case. I like it when they have a case to go in because then they're not like scraping up your stuff and leaving nail residue all over everything. So this one has a little plastic case. I got this at Walgreens. I think it's the brand Kiss. I don't know. Another hair bobble to tie my hair back with. And then this nifty little thing that I got from Amazon. It is a door pull so that you don't have to uh, touch the handle. And it also is a button pusher. And it's also a stylus. So if it's a touch screen keypad for like the store, it still works. So very nice. Got it from Amazon. Two for $10. I gave one to my husband. And then the stickers that came with this bag. And this is just the little, uh, what is it called? It's the, it just says that it's coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, and man-made lining. So that is all that is in the zipper. See how large that zipper compartment is? It's enormous. I already put my stuff back in these other pockets. I should have left it out, but I didn't. Sorry. Okay, so. I'm going to take that stuff out so I can show you the bag better. Sorry. I should have left it out. Okay, so let me give you some pros and cons of the bag. So some pros of the bag, There, are, okay, there are several pros to this bag. First of all, it's beautiful. I love the Damier Azor print. I got this print because... Nobody else has the Damier Azor. Like, I've never seen anyone else carrying around this print in this bag. And I think it's stunning. I absolutely love it. And, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sitting on my bed, and I'm old, so I had to uncross my legs. Okay, so the other thing that I really, really like about this bag, and I'm going to do a video a comparison between the Graceful and this bag, but the other thing I really like is that the canvas comes down into the interior of the bag. So it goes up and then they have a, uh, like a lip all the way around the bag that has the canvas. And what I like about that is that if you have a graceful, you will understand what I'm talking about. The graceful does not have this. And when you open the bag, it doesn't matter how careful you are. Um, Eventually, the trim around the bag gets really dirty looking, and especially if you got the Damier Azor Graceful and it has the Rose Ballerine interior, that is going to get so filthy. I have a friend who has it, and she's really unhappy with the fact that no matter what she's done and how careful she's been, it just got filthy. And to me, I can't stand the look of a filthy bag. I have the monogram in my graceful and I've gotten very lucky. I don't know, don't ask me how I managed to keep it clean, but mine has the Pivoine interior and it's still immaculate. It's beautiful. I love my graceful so much, which is why I got this one in the Damier Azor print because I already have a hobo bag in the monogram print and I just felt like they would be too similar for me to get this in a monogram. So I got the Damier Azor and I'm so happy I did. However, that leads to one con, and that is that this bag can get color transfer. Transfer? Transfer. Color transfer. Um, mine does not have any yet, but I'm pretty careful with what I wear it with. 
It has the four feet on the bottom that say Louis Vuitton. It has the cross stitching at the bottom to help reinforce it. And on authentic bags, the if you get a Damier Azor, the X is going to go straight through the middle of one of the little Louis Vuitton squares. Uh, the interior of this bag is a light interior, but it's so nice, which is one of the reasons I wanted to get the canvas because I love the Alcantara interior. So this material is called Alcantara and it is made specifically for luxury cars and Louis Vuitton bags. So the manufacturer, Alcantara, is actually a trademarked name and it's a trademarked fabric and so they'll put this Alcantara material on the seats of luxury cars because it does not wear the same way suede does and it stays beautiful looking and so they use the same fabric on the interior of the Louis Vuitton bags and so I absolutely love this interior it's so soft it's another reason why I feel comfortable just putting my glasses in one of the little compartments without the case because the fabric is so soft, it's not going to scratch my glasses at all. And my sunglasses as well. I have a pair of Chloe sunglasses that I purchased. No, not Chloe Kardashian. And, um, and I absolutely love the fact that I don't have to put the big, huge, bulky case in here. I can just slide them in one of the pockets and I know they're safe. Uh, so I love this interior. Mine was made in the USA and I love the fact that, okay, so if it's made in the USA, you're going to have this little leather, let me see if I can locate it, this little leather tag right here. And mine was made in Texas. So I'm really happy about the fact that it was made in Texas because I live in Texas and I'm from Texas myself. So I just thought it was kind of cool that I ended up with a Louis Vuitton bag that was made in Texas. And so I don't mind that it was made in the USA. I have both made in France and made in the USA bags. The quality on them is the same. You're not gonna get something that's made in the USA and, you know, and it's made crappy just because it's made in the USA. If you have poor quality or poor craftsmanship on your bag, it doesn't have anything to do with where it was made. It has everything to do with the artisan that made that bag. So I have made in France bags that I've had to take back and I've had made in USA bags that I've had to take back. And then I have made in USA bags that are absolutely pristine and perfect like my Graceful and my Neverfull. Uh, and there's not anything wrong with them. They're absolutely perfect. And I have, you know, made in France bags that are absolutely perfect. So. Where the bag is made really doesn't matter. I like the fact that, you know, when I get a bag that's made in France because it's a French brand. So to me, it's always just kind of, you know, I like the fact that my bag was in France, you know, I just thought that was cool. But because I'm probably never gonna get to go. But uh, yeah, so mine was made in the USA. And on the little tag back here, it just says Louis Vuitton Paris, which, a lot of people think that when it says Louis Vuitton Paris, it means it was made in Paris. It doesn't mean that. This bag was made in the USA. The company, the brand, is Louis Vuitton Paris. So, yeah. So, I really don't have any cons about this bag so far. Uh, I could see where some people would find this leather trim to be a con because if you want to put it on your shoulder, and it's hot or you're wearing something sleeveless, you run the risk of getting this sweaty or dirty or getting deodorant on it, which th that's why they added the leather trim because people were, they said the cracking was being caused by deodorant. I personally do not believe that. I don't think the deodorant is what was causing the cracking, but they added the leather trim to remedy that. And mine is developing a patina already. It's so beautiful. It's nice and even. I'm so happy 
that I'm not having to deal with the same garbage I had to deal with with my other three bags because this is developing a patina at an even rate. All the pieces are. So I'm very happy about that. So one little piece of information that I was not aware of is that um, I thought that Louis Vuitton had strictly gone to using gold-toned hardware on all of their bags, period. But when you go to the website, if you look at this bag, they are still using brass for the artsy. So on this particular bag, the fixtures are brass. The hardware is brass. So you have, you know, the beautiful rings, the grommets, and they say Louis Vuitton around them. And then you have these, and they don't say Louis Vuitton on them anywhere. These don't. But, oh, do they? No, they don't. And then you have the four feet at the bottom. So all of that hardware is brass on these bags. Uh, some of the bags, they're not using brass anymore, but apparently some of them they are. And so that was news to me. I thought that it was just gold-toned hardware, but it's not. So I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. I don't think I have. This bag does not have any type of closure. It's just open at the top, but it goes up so high, and when you have it on your arm, I mean, when there's stuff in it, it, you know, goes down. But when you have it on your arm, no one's going to be able to get inside this bag without you knowing that someone's trying to get in your bag. And not only that, but they also can't see what's in here because, trust me, you can't even see what's in here when it's on your own shoulder. So I know somebody else isn't going to be able to see what's inside your bag. And so the fact that it doesn't have a closure doesn't bother me. My bag is, uh, I mean, it stands up on its own. It doesn't collapse. Like a lot of people are, you know, complaining that it collapses, but mine stands up. It doesn't collapse at all. Maybe people who don't put much stuff in theirs, but you saw how much I carry in my bag, so, um, yeah. Anyway, so it stands up on its own. It doesn't collapse. And what else? Oh, the handle. Okay, so when you first buy this handle, I mean, when you first buy this handle, when you first buy this bag, the handle is going to be very stiff, and it's going to be like this. Do not take this handle and bend it. Don't do that. You're going to ruin it if you do. There's a girl that has a couple of videos out on her new model. Not the same one who's having the patina problems. Somebody else. And in her video, she is literally taking this handle and squeezing it together to where these two ends are touching. And literally, I died inside when I watched it. Because by her forcing the handle to do that, she developed a very unnatural looking crease right here. It almost looked like when you take a paper towel holder, the, the cardboard part, and bend it, how it has that pointy crease. That's exactly the way her bag looked, her handle looked up here at the top. And it just broke my heart for her because that's an expensive bag and she ruined her handle. And it, she didn't seem to be bothered by it, so, you know, that's fine. But Personally, that would bother me, and it's something that I was really concerned about when I first got mine because they do make the handles differently than they made them initially. I think before they used to be made with cork or rope, and I think now they were either made with cork or rope, and now they're made, you know, one of them's, it's either cork or rope now, and I don't know. Okay, so it used to either be made with rope, and now it's cork, or it used to be made with cork, and now it's rope, but... Yeah, so they are very stiff when you first get them. Mine, however, has definitely softened up and it's developed a very nice, round, natural looking curve. No unnatural looking creases in it. Thank you, Lord. And yeah, so if you just let it happen gradually, it will happen. It's going to happen just from you putting your stuff in it. And you know, as you put your stuff in it, then you know, it's gonna have more weight and then it will bend more. And then you have more room for your shoulder, for your arm to go through, to put it on your shoulder. So, yeah. So anyway, so this has been my preliminary review of this bag. I will continue to do um, like updates on regular intervals of this bag to let you see how it's wearing. 
through time and also to keep track of this patina and so yeah if you have any questions please feel free to put them down below in the comments section I'm happy to answer any questions you have if you have questions about any of the products that I showed you that were in my bag please list them down below as well I'll put links for the ones that I'm able to and yeah so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe I would love for you to join my re YouTube family uh, if you haven't um, hit the like button please hit the like button if you like content like this and also if you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video my channel is primarily stuff like this it's just you know like handbag reviews most of the time although I am getting ready to film a perfume collection video so and I'm going to do it right now so I'm gonna be wearing the same clothes so yeah anyway so Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, and have a great rest of the week. Bye.